My European sensibilities could never. I'm currently on a lunch break uh, from the kindergarten, so I came back home since I lived so close. And on my way back, I also bought some things because I keep having to make little trips because I can't carry everything I need and I never like buy everything I need because it's just too much. So let me show you what I got so far. In the morning, I went to do like a medical check. It took hours just getting there, like took an hour to get there. And then it was like an hour to do it. It wasn't even that difficult. They just took some blood and then I had to go up to get like a... Uh, vaginal smear and it was so weird because it was me and this girl that we had to do our medical checks and they put us in like the same room told us to undress like the bottom part and I was like what here together like my European sensibilities could never in Europe they make you wait till a person is done and then the next one goes in and here apparently that's not the case um, I also got um, a chest x-ray just for them to see that everything's fine. And now I feel terrible. From yesterday evening, I started getting like a really sore throat and I think I'm getting a cold and like the whole stress of moving to another country, the different food is just, my body can't take it. So I stopped by the pharmacy, got some vitamin C um, and some zinc. These were so expensive, but medicine is expensive everywhere, I guess. Um, so I got those two and then I got something from the convenience store. Uh, I got a towel for the kitchen. Then I got one of these sieves. Uh, I will also use this to make my steamed buns that I bought the other day but couldn't steam it because I didn't have anything. Um, so this will work just fine. Then I got some uh, napkins because I am getting cold. This is like some cotton for the steaming basket or whatever. They didn't have parchment paper, so I bought this and I will like put it on the sieve or something. You know, we'll see. And then I really needed shampoo and conditioner. And that's what I got. It's not much, but it's still heavy and it does take time to browse through the store. And sometimes you need to have your phone out and be there like with Google Translate because some items don't have the English, they only have the Chinese written on them, which I understand this is China, it's their country, but it would be really useful <laughs> to have at least the English there, but that's fine, I, um, I can just translate it. So now I need to eat something. I did take food from the kindergarten. Uh, and I thought I'd eat it at home, but let me show you. I got it like right here. Oh God, I am getting really sick. This is not good. Uh, so for lunch, there were noodles. This is rice, no, this is rice. And this is like, um, I think they're peanuts with spinach and some kind of sauce, but today and yesterday, and they had like some kind of sauce, but it was, the bowl was kind of empty, so I don't know if there was supposed to be anything else or just the sauce, but I thought it was like, maybe it's for the, the noodles. But yesterday and today, this weren't my favorite food, and maybe it's also the fact that I'm getting the cold and I started yesterday, so my taste buds are kind of done with it. They just want to calm down. Um, so in the evening, like today I'll try to eat something light and in the evening I will make a soup because soups go amazing when you're starting to get a cold and for me it's familiar food so that might also help a little bit. But I got like 20 minutes to eat and then I have to go back to the kindergarten. So I'll do that. I am back from the kindergarten. As you can see, my hair is completely different. Can you see that? <laughs> It was, um, they had a little ceremony for the autumn festival, which is going to be on Sunday, today's Friday. And um, a lot of the staff dressed in like hanfus, which is uh, like a Chinese dress. And we just, the kids were all so cute. They were dressed, it was just so cute seeing this little traditional 
Chinese dress that's kind of modern, modernized. And it, they're all colorful and beautiful and sparkly and it's just, they were so cute. Uh, but they also gave me one of those and it was so embarrassing because they made me, they had like a red carpet where the kids walked, so um, two by two. So the, um, I think it was live streamed to the parents because there were no parents there, but I think it was live streamed to the parents and they also took pictures of the um, kids. So they made me start the ceremony and walk on that carpet and I was so embarrassed, like so embarrassed. Because, like, I'm the shiny new thing, so they want to, like, exhibit me. I don't know how to say that, but it was just, it was so awkward. But the dress was really nice. And look, like, one of my coworkers um, did my hair, and it's so beautiful. And she did it so fast as well. I was like, wow. Um, but it is so nice. Um, and then... And then I came home not very long ago and I made soup. I also have a steamed bun. This time I actually steamed it. I use a colander because I don't have a steaming basket. I looked for it, but the convenience near me didn't have it. Uh, so I used this and I think it worked pretty well. I'll have to see once I try it. I hope it's not frozen inside when I cut it. Oh god, it is frozen inside, damn it. I was supposed to let it, oh, let me start the soup again. Oh, come on. The two halves are going in, ah, oh, this is so hot. And I will hold it like this until it's done. And in the meantime, I will talk to you. Let me see if I can do something about the light. Is this better? Not by much, but it's slightly better. Anyway, um, so today, no, did I burn this? Dumbass. Oh, I hope this isn't burned. Okay, so where was I? Um, today was a very, very, very long day. In the morning, I had the physical exam. I went to the kindergarten first, um, stayed there for like 10 minutes and then me and a co-worker went to the metro and we had to change three trains. It took like an hour the ride there. It is insane. I didn't realize how big this city is, but it is huge. Um, and after that, we did the exam. After that, we went back to the kindergarten and the whole day I was feeling so bad. I haven't eaten anything. Um, and then I had this lasting headache I haven't eaten because I couldn't for the checkup and then I had this awful headache and it's just I'm still having it right now but that's beside the point um and then we went to the kindergarten and we had lunch and by we had lunch I took lunch it's the video prior to this one and, and then I went back and we did this ceremony and now I'm home <laughs> and I'm cooking the soup uh and tomorrow is Saturday but I still have classes because on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday it's the autumn festival like the moon festival so um, everything is off at least the kindergarten um, so tomorrow I have to do the lessons that I would have done on Monday and I didn't know this and I stayed at the kindergarten so long doing nothing and I kept asking people is there something I can do can I help you somehow and they're like no 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 Thank you, but I was like, I could have done all my preparation then when I was dying of boredom and now I have to do them now at home and my headache is just getting worse and I already took a pill so I can't take another, um, but I hope I'll be able to do them fast. Oh, there's so many things to do and there's so many videos and clips and things I have to prepare because keeping kids entertained takes a long, long, long time. So I, I don't know how I'll do it, but I just, I desperately need to sleep. I haven't slept this entire week well. I think I slept like four hours a night every single day and I'm exhausted, so I can't wait for Sunday. But 
This was Saturday again making some soup because I need soup to recover and I'll see you next time when I see you I guess but once again look at my beautiful hairstyle and see you then. Oh by the way this is my soup it's um cabbage potatoes and carrots again because that's what I have and I need to use them up and these are my um steamed buns so I am starving can't wait to finally eat something I think I had a chocolate bar today for the entire day but so exhausted. It's Saturday and unfortunately I'm at work <laughs> right now on um, on my lunch break. I ate at the kindergarten. I mostly ate rice. The other, there was also like a potato, carrot and meat stew, which I would have loved, but it was spiced with spices I'm not used to, like aniseed and everything, all and things like that. And I know them, but I don't use them in potato stews. So um, the taste was very, very strong for me. There also was like a, some kind of like kimchi. It was with cabbage, um, like those year mushrooms and what was there? And carrots, but again, not my favorite thing. And there was a soup with small, small shrimps that I've never seen before and some kind of fruit or vegetables that I just couldn't identify. I think it's similar to like a cucumber, but the, the soup was, besides the fact that it was cold, I don't know if all their soups are cold or by the time they serve it, it's cold, but the soup was cold and the taste was very, very fishy. Usually I love shrimp, but that one's just, it was strange, um, at least for me. So, um, but I did eat. Uh, today I woke up with a raging headache again <laughs> and that's not the best way to start your day but I have done three no I have done four classes already I still have another one today at like 2 20 but I have to be at the kindergarten at one I don't know it doesn't make sense but whatever um, so I have a class from 2 20 to like 3 and then I'll be over with the teaching and for the rest of the time that I have to stay there I will just, um, I don't know, work on the material for the next week. Um, so on Wednesday when we'll go. So I'm so exhausted. I can't wait for this to end so I can finally have a good night's sleep because last night I just had so much. I, it was too much. I need a break. <laughs> and I, I'm so sick of having headaches. but. On my way, way back from the kindergarten, I stopped at the convenience store again because, you know, small trips, small things add up, like, things I need to buy. And I bought a mop. Look at this. And it also, like, you push this and kind of, like, squeezes, which is super cool. Uh, so I got this one. And on my day, or my second, I think, day off, I will clean. The first one is dedicated to relaxation. Um, and then I got a huge roll of toilet paper so I don't run out when it's the most inconvenient. Yes, um, I bought a water, um, a giant one because I need to stay hydrated and also I kind of don't want to leave the house tomorrow. I'll see if I can do that but I kind of don't want to go anywhere but we'll see. And then I bought some snacks. I got this lemon snack then I got it, this is like orange jelly then we have a kitchen towel because I realized that having only one isn't enough so I bought another one and for the snacks again I will have a snack video dedicated so make sure to check that out and have to go to the bathroom and then I have to go back to the kindergarten because I don't have that much time. I am so exhausted. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. And I desperately want some tea, but the amount of time it will take me to make some and cool it is too long. And the only cup that I have is currently at the kindergarten. I'll have to take that back home in the evening. So just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Okay, I'll, I'll see you in 
later, I guess. I am back home. Jesus Christ, is this how the light in this room looks? I look almost green. Anyway, I'll try to fix it, but I'm back home. Yay. Hooray for that. I'm so exhausted. I'm so glad I have three days off now. I'm just so exhausted. I went to uh, Pizza Hut because I really needed something Western and some fast food because I just, I need a little pick me up. So I got that. Um, I got this, as you can see, I haven't opened this yet. And then I got some Sprite, the Chinese version. <laughs> and I got a lemonade to maybe try, but I'll start with a Sprite and I'll see if I even start this one. We'll see, but let's see how the pizza looks. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me open this up first. The woman uh, at the Pizza Hut was so nice and helpful. And I was like, aw, everyone's so kind in here. It's so nice, like so nice. Ta -da! I hope it's in good shape. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, I got utensils and everything. I did not expect that. Oh, so, I'm starving. I was thinking of buying um, like a set for like four people, but then I was like, no, don't do that to yourself. Just buy more pieces throughout the week. You don't need to buy all of them in one sitting. Um, so here's the pizza. I'm so excited to eat it. Oh my God, I am salivating. But yeah, this is my plan for this evening. Just relax, have some pizza and watch a bunch of YouTube. So the day suddenly became better. <laughs> I'll see you later perhaps, okay? Bye. The pizza was successfully eaten. I'm so glad I didn't buy the insane amount I was thinking of buying because that would have been ridiculous. And I am, I'm already full and I've only had half of the pizza, which is crazy. But, but I did really like it. It was delicious. Um, I. I just took it plain. I hate pizza that has cheese in the crust. I think that is unnecessary, um, at least for me. I just, I just really like bread. So give me as much bread as possible. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So a good decision overall. Don't you love it? Just this day suddenly became so much better and I am so glad for it. You have no idea how stressed I was this entire week. Even though, like, all of the classes went amazing. The kids are so cute and they're so smart and they just, they want to be active. And it's so easy to get along with them. It's just preparing for the actual classes and having enough games and exercises and things like that to keep them busy. Because sometimes I underestimate how how fast they go through things and I'm like gee I did not prepare enough for this but <sighs> this week was very 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 long but it was really nice well it was very exhausting but the apartment is amazing the teachers are so kind even the principal she's the nicest person ever and I'm so grateful to be where I am the kindergarten is beautiful everyone's so helpful and I'm so grateful I was just so stressed and the fact that I didn't have a day to recover from the flight and just getting to a new country and adapting kind of took it out of me so that was a lot but now that it's the weekend officially, <laughs> I am, I'm so glad for the rest. So I'm just glad. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just happy that I can rest. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.